Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at this pretty simple but interesting physics problem about the Russian rocket missile ship Moscow, which was destroyed by Ukrainian missiles back in the spring. So it is now resting at the bottom of the Black Sea at around the depth of 50 meters and we are also given the density of the water and the atmospheric pressure above it. What we want to find is the pressure that is acting on the ship. Now this is pretty simple, but nevertheless, let's calculate it. The pressure that is acting on the ship consists of two pressures. The atmospheric one, which we know, and the pressure of the water, which we want to find. Now, how could we find the pressure of the water knowing what we have? So, because the water is acting perpendicularly on the ship, then it can be cal calculated the following way. The force that is acting on the ship divided by its area. But we don't know neither of those. Therefore, we want to rewrite this expression somehow in a more advantageous way. So, what force acts on the ship? Well, this is just the weight of the water, right? About the ship. And what is the weight of the water about the ship? Well, it's just the mass of the water times the acceleration, which is g, right? And all of this divided by the area. But we don't know the mass, okay? Let's rewrite our mass as the volume of the water above the ship times its density and times the acceleration divided by the area. Okay, the last thing that we want to rewrite is the volume. Now, think about the, the water above the ship. To calculate its volume, we just multiply the area of the ship by the height of the water, right? You can think this as a cylinder, right? To find the volume of the cylinder, we just multiply the area of the bottom circle by the height of the cylinder. Similar fashion here. So, the volume will be just the area times height and the other terms that we have. And finally, the areas cancel out and we get a pretty well known formula, which is just the depth of the water times its density times the acceleration. Now just plug in the numbers to calculate that the pressure is equal to 50 depth of the water times its density, which is 1000 times the acceleration. Now I'm going to approximate and say that this is equal to 10. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 zeros and only one 5. Then we get 5 times 10 to the 5th power Pascals, right? Okay, but this is only the pressure of the water. We also want to add the atmospheric pressure. So the whole pressure acting on the ship will be equal to atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the water which will give us 6.013 times 10 to the 5 pascals okay i hope you like this problem and you like the solution if yes then make sure to leave a like write a comment watch my other videos subscribe to the channel and that's all for today bye